Hi, Saji. Welcome to your weekend reading and moving into um, the beginning of next week. I do have a couple of products to show you, so I want to go through them fast because I know you guys are ready to get to it. But if you don't mind, please watch through. And if you don't watch it, um, skip ahead, watch your reading. And if you enjoyed your reading, if it resonated, then go back and watch the beginning, okay? All right, real quick. First of all, my oils, okay? My oils, actually, no. Let's start with the candles. <laughs> We have to lead into the oils, okay? Candles are back in stock and they're ready to be shipped out and you guys have been buying them, which I'm super excited about. This one is called Day. It's a great summer scent if you're interested in that. I also have Night here because day and night, you know? I'm kind of corny like that. But yeah, this is Night and Night is a more masculine scent. You can read about all the scent notes on my website. Link will be in the description box down below. All right. Ooh, that one smells really good like a like a man. Okay. <laughs> you know, I ain't... Okay, let's not talk about that. Anyway, I also just dropped a new um, brand. If you follow my Instagram, um, you know that I just dropped a new brand, but it's still under the same umbrella, but just different, you know, things. Um, I'm doing skincare and I'm doing body care and I'm super excited about this. I've been, I've had this dream for over two years. I just released it. I don't want to talk too much about it. If you go follow my Instagram, you may catch me spilling my guts about it. Okay. But yeah, so Eclipse Beauty is the new thing on Dream Tarot's channel and I did release oils. So some of you who have bought, like, I know I released this already, Angel Oil. Some of you guys, if you watch, you know, regularly, you know about the Eclipse Oil. It, I mean, sorry, the Angel Oil. You see on the top it says Eclipse Beauty. So I really didn't even, like, announce the brand, but I was already going there. And then we also have the Amethyst Oil. Angel Oil is good for prayer, for reaching your angels, your spirit guides, God. Um, amethyst oil is more for protection and also like energy protection. So raising your vibrations, stabilizing your moods, you know, so you can read all about it on my website. Link will be in the description box down below. Also on Eclipse Beauty, I just released some aromatherapy body butters. These body butters are very nourishing, but the main purpose of them is healing. Healing is number one to me. So all of these body butters have different healing properties based off the essential oils that I've used in them. So I have Konzu because I do take care of my masculines, just like I had the night candle. Konzu is a moon god for the masculines. It's a more masculine scent, but it's very energizing. Um, and it smells amazing. I really, this is maybe one of my favorites. My other favorite too would be Celine. Celine is a very, you can read about all the scent notes online, link in the description box. I don't want to waste too much time, but Celine is beautiful as well. And like I said, these are aromatherapy butters. So they're meant to heal and nourish the body, but also for like breathing in the scents, healing, you know, um, so Kanzu is good for energizing and, um, a mood booster. Celine is good for confidence, pride, ego, making money. If you need to go to work and be confident, maybe you're like a seller or something, that's going to be perfect for you. And then Luna, I love as well. Luna is a good like um, relaxer and it's really good for nighttime. Okay. And you can read about all the properties on my website. Links in the description box down below. All right. Sorry, I know that was a mouthful, but thank you for all of you who have watched that through. I do have some channel messages. I have been doing channel messages for you guys, of course. So the first channel message we have is Guilty Conscience. I had to write them down because you had so many, Saggy. So I had to write them down. Usually I'll just try to remember it. But Guilty Conscience was one. So this could be you. Maybe you did something that you feel guilty about. You're unable to let it go. I was getting like someone, either you or someone has a guilty conscience against yourself or or this person's feeling that about themselves. But it's like you guys spend a lot of time together. So this is someone who's close to you or, you know, if you're the one who's feeling guilty, this is someone, you feel guilty about someone that you see regularly or that you're very close to, um, that you speak to a lot. And if this is someone else, they feel guilty, but it's like, that you're in their energy a lot so it's a very like kind of shady energy almost like seven of swords where it's like someone wants to come clean to you but they feel like if they do open up to you you may walk away from them or you feel this way so it's a very weird energy okay so we'll definitely i guess we'll see what comes out in your reading second was long distance i feel like someone even if someone that you're dealing with is not long distance you're like i don't have anyone who's long distance some of you guys do but some of you guys too are dealing with someone who's very distant from you could because they have a, that guilty conscience um third we have do you believe in love do you believe in marriage do you believe in magic i got this energy of do you believe right so someone could be asking you do you believe in marriage do you believe in love? 
do you believe in um, magic? Or you could be asking someone this. So just look out for that that question. Either you're going to say that or someone's going to say that to you. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. Okay. I also got the number nine. So 999. 999, you know, like you may be seeing nines everywhere. Um, I don't know. I really, honestly, I don't remember what nine means. But nine is almost to like, because there's no ten. So there's zero. So nine could be like finishing something out. If I could just use my intelligence, I feel like nine represents, because you go back to zero after, so, and zero is like the fool card, right? So it's like nine could be finishing something out, closing a cycle, the world card, like something's being complete or you're leveling up, you learned a lesson and you're moving on. Um, okay, last one was apology is, on, is an option. Okay, so like someone does need to apologize to you, but it's an option. They have to make that decision. That's also like the lover's card. Like what path do I take? So someone was like, should I just hide this and lie and keep my guilty conscience or should I just come clean? And I feel like someone's going to choose to come clean and apologize, which is kind of crazy because I feel like it's unexpected. I feel like you don't expect that from this person. But you're also going to be thinking what took them so long is because they felt very insecure to even come and be real with you. But you will get an apology or you'll be apologizing to someone. I don't know. All right. So let's just pull your energy. Let's just pull your energy right now. Let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit, give me some cards, please. Give me some cards for my... Hold on. All right, guys. So the first card I pulled was the Nine of um, Pentacles. What's funny is that City Girls is playing for you right now. And I was going to do your reading last night, but I had so much work to do. I was like, um, I really can't get into, like, I was so distracted. I just felt like it wasn't one-on-one. -on -one. I felt like I was just thinking about a lot of things. So I just decided to do it today. But yesterday I wrote down in my notebook for, and I didn't use the same messages that I got yesterday. I did completely new channeled messages. Yesterday I wrote down city boys up city girls up right so it's like i don't know if there's a tick for tack that you're playing with someone or someone's playing with you or there's like maybe you're up right now but someone in the past you know it's like a justice it's like balance so if the city boys was up last summer city girls are going to be up this summer or if you're dealing with someone and they played you last year or something you're going to be you're going to have the last laugh i'll get okay Lovers is here. Hangman is here. Yeah, so there's some type of decision. And it has you stuck. Because this could be your energy or it could be someone around you. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very interesting, your energy. Always, you guys always give me a run for my money, Sag. Yeah. Hmm. Two of wands, decisions, right? Decisions, decisions, you know, that thing. Lovers is decisions, decisions. Hangman is decisions, decisions, you know? When you're un when you're indecisive, you could be very indecisive lately. Like, um, this doesn't even have to be about what we're about to talk about. This could be like, even if you go out to eat and the waiter's like, oh, do you know what you want to eat? And you're like, um, give me a second, right? And then the waiter goes off, does their thing. They come back to table number five, whatever they remind it, remind themselves about the table in their head. And it's like, oh, are you ready to order? And you're like, um, just give me a second. Like, you're going to be very indecisive. Or someone might ask you, do you want, what do you want? And you're like, I don't know, you know? And that's like a very feminine thing. But I also feel like even if you're masculine, you're going to be very indecisive. All right, so your first card is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So someone, whether this is you or someone else, is realizing that they're very codependent. They are very independent, but they, when it comes to emotions, I feel like, mm, like monetarily or money-wise, you're very independent, Sag, but maybe emotionally you're not. Or someone around you is that way. Like someone could be making big money. They could be the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or someone who just is, the, you know, that paid. And they're so paid, but they really emotionally are very codependent. And it's like, I don't know. So with the lovers, if this is you, Sag, or whoever this is, because I've these readings have been so kind of crazy that I feel like I can't say it's you or this person, you know? The lover, someone has to make a decision um, to possibly apologize. That's the energy I was getting, but also could just be to express themselves, right? That I am codependent 
or I've been missing you, right? You don't have to say that. I feel like someone who is codependent is not going to say that. They may say, I miss you, or I want you, or I've been thinking about you, or I had a dream about you, right? It's different ways that you communicate without triggering yourself, right? And then you have the hangman too. So it's like, um, I, actually, I don't even want to explain all the cards upright. I just want to... <laughs> It's a very uncomfortable energy, so I feel like I kind of want to rush the reading, but I know you guys will kill me if I rush the reading, so let's just, you know, hang man, okay? Someone's feeling stuck about it. They're feeling very stuck, like in, in the middle, in between. Also get this energy of being um in the between. You know when, okay, how do I explain this? Um, You know when you have like two friends or two people that you care about, but you're in the middle of the argument? That's what I'm getting with the hangman, and I don't know what that's about. So there could be conflict with three people or ties, right? Because the hangman is tied. He's bound. See how he's bound there? So it's like there's some kind of ties you have with two other people, and you're in the middle. Or someone else feels like they're in the middle of you and two other people, or this is you. I don't know. And I also feel like bad news is coming towards you, but not about yourself, Sag, about someone else. And it's like you feel bound or you feel like you're a part of that mess. So it could be like a friend says to you like, oh, I just failed. Like, okay, and I'm making a big situation because I feel like it's not stupid, you know? I feel like it's a very sensitive thing. So say you have like a law friend, someone who's in law school, and they say to you, oh my God, I just failed the bar, you know? And you know that's a big deal, but you're not in law school. So it's kind of like you don't really understand. You don't understand the pain, but you, you have empathy enough to be like, hmm, if I was a law student, that shit would fucking kill me, you know? And it's like this person's already bound to their own feelings of disappointment. And then you you tie yourself up with them. You're very loyal, this week, I don't know about your whole life. I don't know. <laughs> but you're very loyal to whoever this person is. It's like, they're going through something. So you're like, I'm going through it too. But also, with that Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that's a codependency type of energy as well. Because you don't have to go through it with your per your friend or your person or your lover or coworker, whoever this person is that you care about. You don't have, you just have to be there for them. But I feel like your way of being there for people is like putting yourself in their shoes, literally, not figuratively, you know? Okay. All right. So, Ten of Swords in reverse. So, someone's going through some real pain right now. Depression, possibly. Ten of Swords is depression to me, but it's also like your lowest of lows. You are bounding yourself to that to that same situation with this person but you can't feel that you can't be as empathetic as you're like pushing yourself to be like you can be, so if someone's energy is like down here and if you're trying to be empathetic to them you can only reach right here because you're not that law student you don't really you haven't went through the trials and felt that disappointment you're just trying to be there for your friend or your lover or whoever this person is so you're not going to reach your level but someone definitely is in that level and you know it but you're also too since you can't physically be in that level because it didn't happen to you it's like the ten of swords in reverse you're healing very fastly or you're going back on your feet like you could have been really sad over someone's situation but you're like okay back on my yeah <laughs> i'm not kidding guys look what just came out of the sun card sun card is the happiest card in a deck so it's like I don't know if it's spirit or I just, or maybe it's just not meant for you to be that codependent. It's like, you can never feel what this person is feeling. You're like happy and you're, you're bounding yourself to this person to be with them and be there for them. But it's like, this is a happy time for you. Or if you don't feel that way, July is going to be a very happy time for you. And you may be around someone who's having the worst time. But it's like, you're not going to be able to relate. I'm sorry to tell you. And I feel like that's a problem. And I don't even know what this reading's about. Like, I'm like still trying to figure it out. But I feel like you're bounding yourself to someone. Like a contract, like marriage almost. Maybe some of my Saggies are married and your spouse is going through it. But it's like, you can't relate. And you're trying so hard to. You're like, your empath side is like, oh, let me relate. But you can't because this is your happy time. So... I don't know what that's... I really don't even know. What's the Ace of Swords? Okay. There's someone that you pushed away in your past. They are coming to speak to you. They're going to be 100% real 
with you about it's like um how do I, I'm so confused with this reading. I don't even know how to explain this to you guys. You may have said something to someone. Like, you know, like, sometimes when you break up with someone, you're like, you're going to rue the day. You're going to rue this day. You're, you're going to miss me. Or it's like, um, <laughs> it's like, you're going to go through some shit. What you put me through. Oh, color purple. Because my mom does this to me every day of the, every day of the week. My mom does this to me because we're a silly family and we just like to, like, trigger each other. But it's not like, it's not like a negative thing. It's like for us to laugh but my mom literally like in the past and she hasn't done it lately and i'm hopefully she doesn't watch this because if she sees this i'm gonna have to deal with this for the next month you know but in the past even when i was so young like even when i was like in middle school she used to hit me with the color purple and she would like do this to me and you know like the part where Celie is talking to the man whatever you know whoever that guy who was her manipulator and her abuser and she was like everything you do to me Damn, what is it? I, I don't want to mess it up right now. Honestly, guys, I only watched The Color Purple twice, I think. But I, I didn't pay attention to a lot of it. I didn't understand a lot of it as a, a younger girl. But my mom used to do this to me, but as a joke. But it's funny that it's, like, coming out. For, well, it's not funny. I'm sorry. Um, Okay, Color Purple. I don't want to mess it up. You know, Color Purple, everything you do to me will be done to you or something. I don't know. But that's what it's giving. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. No. Hold on, y'all, hold on. Okay, please don't. I think this person put it as everything. Okay, everything you've done to me. I don't know what is What is that? Everything you, you've done to me. I need to know. I'm sorry. This is so ghetto. Hold on, guys. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to crumble. Is that it? No. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> I mean, that's a part of it, but it's not. Okay, there we go. Everything you've done to me has already been done to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and scene okay but that's what it's giving it's giving that someone's gonna apologize to you but it's like the way that you look at them you may have lost respect for this person or it's like things are going so positive for you maybe you're the type of person like even when people apologize to you you're just kind of like oh i get it i understand you you know I, I like you feel bad for people when they apologize to you or you're like I know why you did that to me, but your energy is definitely giving silly vibes where it's like someone may apologize to you and you may be stone cold, like no empathy for this person. And you may feel bad about that, but the sun card is like, it is what it is because life is changing for you. You're going through this world card energy, like I said in the beginning, where you're going to be super happy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Ace of Swords, someone's coming to you. They're telling you everything someone could even be coming to you and confessing things that they went through after dealing with you like it was karma they may be telling you all their karma and the seven of wands is like i'll pray for you and you guys know prayer is very positive but you guys know in the community of church and stuff where it's like i'll pray for them it could also be a dig where it's like i'll pray for you but that has nothing to do with me and that's what i'm getting because of temperance you know Shit is getting balanced out and you're in a very positive mood during this time. And there's someone on the opposite spectrum who's going through the devil energy. And it, they also could be like, you know, wondering, can you help me? Can you save me? And it's like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling like a villain. Okay. And I'm not the villain. You're the villain, but I'm chilling. All right. So, <laughs> and I thought I was going to do an extended reading, but I am going to do extended reading for you guys. Extended reading will be linked in the description box down below. We're going to talk more about this person, what they want to talk about, what their intentions are with you. If you're interested, the link will be in the description box down below. I also will be doing Love Oracle because I feel like some of you guys, this is someone that you loved. Okay. Um, but let's get your last words because I don't know how long this reading is. I had to stop it for a second. Someone's calling me, but um, it's a... Oh my God. I thought we were going to have some fun. And I did it. No, I didn't have fun during this read. I'm not going to lie. It's just very like, you know, it's kind of like, I'm getting soap opera vibes where, you know how you watch a soap opera and it's like, there's no funny, um, 
there's no funny like like soap operas are dramatic it's a very drama it's a lot of drama dramatic energy but soap operas are not like usually funny like there's no haha -ha, you know it's like it's just like you're on the edge of your seat that's how i feel and honestly guys i mind my business like i told you guys if my friends come to me with gossip if my mom comes to me with gossip i get so annoyed because i don't like hearing about people's i i like people's business to be private to them so like this makes me feel like i'm like intruding and i don't feel good about it all right so let's just <laughs> i don't know why i'm that way but i just never been a girl for gossip i don't like gossip i think maybe because people um like when i was in high school and growing up people would always gossip about me but it's because i was kind of private like i think if people got to know me better then definitely not but i just never liked the drama the you know it's like ugh, mind your business that's how i feel all right, last words for you. Last words for my Saggies. Also, in an extended, I'm going to pull whoever this person I'm speaking about, whoever's coming to apologize to you, I'm going to pull their last words as well, okay? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. All right, so we have toxic families. So some of you guys could be dealing with a family member or this person had a toxic family, but maybe they, they dumped their family. So if you're dealing with someone, a lover per se, and like they had toxic family, they definitely moved away from that and they're really trying to heal and be better. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel weird right now. We also have, I need more attention. Interesting. So is that you or this person? We don't know. One second. Okay. We also have vacation. So are you about to go on a little lover's retreat? And I, it could be with this person. But it may be with someone new, too. You know what I'm saying? But also, too, maybe you're remembering a vacation you took with this person. We have, I checked your phone. Interesting. Damn. Hmm. What did I say? I did some channel messages, too. I said guilty conscience. Okay. Um, we have drunk texting you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why someone's spilling their guts to you. We also have you left something behind. Unfinished business between you and someone. They're trying to creep back in before you close that chapter out, the world card. And your last card is I'm in love with you. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay. You know Cardi B, that meme where she's like, that's interesting. That's suspicious. You know, so some of you guys may be dealing with the Libra that I'm speaking of right now. But um, yeah definitely you want to check out the extended reading if not it's okay i will see you guys you know next time make sure you like the video make sure you comment down below i love reading your comments guys i live for your comments honestly it's what keeps me going um subscribe to my channel if you skip the head in the beginning if this resonated for you and you feel good vibes please go back and watch the beginning where i show my products even if you're unable to shop you know, just you visiting my store, giving me your energy on my store means a lot to me. And even if you want to share it with someone that you think could really benefit from my products. So I put a lot of work and effort in them. Um, yeah, the extended will be in the description box down below. All the links to all my products will be in the description box down below. If you want to follow any of my social media um, that I mentioned, my second YouTube channel, links in the description box down below. And that's really it, Saggy. You know, very crazy reading. I thought we were going to have some fun today. I felt so uncomfortable, but not like in a bad way. Just like this is none of my business, you know? Anyway, I'll see you guys in extended where I have to go deeper into this person's business. Pray for me because it's going to make me feel so weird. But um, <laughs> I'll see you guys there. All right, bye-bye.